chair recognize Ms. Crockett from Texas for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And before I begin, let me first just say thank you so much. I sit on the Ag Committee, so you were like feeding my soul uh, as you were talking about the struggles of our farmers, um, because I've been listening to my farmers talk about the droughts. And I am from the state of Texas, where um, we are enduring droughts, floods, as well as freezes. Um, so we have everything uh, as a result of the thing that really does exist called climate change. So thank you for that. Um, I'm tired of my colleagues on the right using these hearings as a tool for their 2024 campaign. Pretty soon, this committee's majority will need to file uh, with the FEC an in-kind contribution. Instead of talking about how Speaker McCarthy's manufactured crisis on the debt ceiling has led to declines in the stock market, instead of talking about how investors are scared about whether U.S. will pay its bills, today we're talking about their fear of what my colleagues call radical wokeism. ESG is not, I repeat, ESG is not radical or woke. And being from Texas, I can tell you what radical looks like because clearly we've had some tra tragedies just this past week because of radical rhetoric, if we're gonna talk about what radical looks like. ESG, like any financial information, is just good business. It's another tool in the toolbox to consider advantageous investments and business decisions. Asset managers have a legal fiduciary duty to maximize profits, but it's ignorant to say that to maximize profits, you have to do it at the expense of ESG. That's just false. ESG impacts our investment strategies that incorporate long-term risk to make long-term down payments as well as returns on future breakthroughs. They allow financial professions to manage and promote risk reduction for client investments to maximize returns. I'm surprised our chairman is opposed to this because just last week he praised the GAO's high-risk list as a valuable tool for, quote, Congress can make more informed decisions. It's only responsible then that asset managers present all information posing financial risk to clients to allow them to make more informed decisions, especially Americans wanting to responsibly manage their retirement savings. The asset managers offer ESG information because large companies use ESG in their business decisions and investments. Why? Because there are real financial and monetary returns when ESG impacts are incorporated. Attorney General Marshall, yes or no, ESG risks have monetary value that impact financial benefits and corporate opportunities. I disagree with all of ESG criteria. Actually, if you look at Royal Dutch Shell's annual reports dating back to 2005, it stated Shell as assesses the underlying economic, political, social, and environmental drivers shaping the markets and margins to evaluate commercial opportunities and potential new business models. It has done so in almost every report. Um, if we look back at examples from 2010 and 2022, even Fox News, who my colleagues love, a publicly traded company in its 2022 annual financial report noted that environmental, including climate, social, and governance matters have costs that pose material adverse effects on its business, financial conditions, and operations. By Republican standards, then Fox and Shell are advancing radical woke propaganda. I don't see efforts to cancel them or call them out. As Attorney General Marshall said in his written testimony, global elites using ESG, a woke economic strategy to hijack our capitalist system. But I digress. Attorney General Marshall, will you file lawsuits against Fox for breaching its fiduciary duties, or is it just the investment advisors publicly providing information on ESG that you want to target? Fox doesn't have a fiduciary duty to the citizens of my state. Just to be clear, ESG isn't woke or radical. It's just good business. Don't take my word for it. A New York University economic study examined over 1,000 reports reviewing the relationship between ESG and financial performance. It overwhelmingly found a positive relation between ESG and financial performance for returns on assets, returns on equity, or stock prices. Why are we wasting valuable time examining ideas that are not in the public interest and which the public has no interest in? I have 30 seconds left, and with that, I would like to yield to the Honorable Treasurer um, to just offer any thoughts, any additional thoughts that you may have. Yeah, I'll just say I heard talk about how these ESG data, there's not agreement, that it's difficult, it's all over the board. It's because we are looking at different industries, and there are different risks in different industries. Product safety is a big risk in consumer products. Yes. 
In business services, it's not as big of a risk. Climate change is a big issue, big issue for property insurance, but not so large in supplemental insurance. Absolutely. I'll repeat that investing is hard. You have to consider different industries. You have to consider a lot of different factors. A lot of people would like to just outsource that. Maybe they don't like their choices, but we take this very seriously. And when you pass legislation to deny us that data, it makes our job that much more difficult. Thank you so much. Thank With you. that, I yield.